Hey guys, Mega Man NG here, and we are back with another TMNT quick episode review. This week we're going to be focusing on the Outlaw Armagan. So here's the deal, I'm going to provide my thoughts on the plot, as well as what I liked about it. And since all of these are like half hour episodes, it makes it easier. But this show provides so much more in such short time. And I loved it. The plot has Lord Dreg hiring a bounty hunter named Armagan to get revenge on the Turtles. However, during a chase, they end up in an abandoned space station, which has an even bigger threat. And when the bigger threat decides to t make things really troubling for everyone involved, the Turtles and Armagan are forced to join forces to stop it. So what do I think about the episode? Hmm, how do I put this? I really loved it. I love it for three specific reasons. Reason number one, the voice acting. It's rare. It's rare that a show brings in such great talent. But when you bring in the legendary Ron Perlman into the show, it makes it all the more awesome. Ron Perlman provides his voice for the RoboShark bounty hunter Armagan. And he is badass. Interestingly enough, Armagan was from the Archie TMNT comics back in the 90s. They were much lighter in, turn, in tone, but they did bring a lot of interesting characters. And another fun fact you need to know, Armagan also made an appearance in the SNES TMNT Tournament Fighters. Just to let you know, since I'm a 90s kid and I know a lot about it. In addition, I liked his look, his design. Armagan is just really terrifying. He's also really badass too, especially in the beginning of the episode when he was chasing the Fugitoy ship and it reminded me right out of Jaws with Raph even saying, we're going to need a bigger ship. That really tickled my fancy. In addition, the bigger bad this week was also Overmind. Overmind is voiced by Jim Piddock, who also does another TMNT character, Lord Simultaneous. And he did a very good job portraying this omnipotent robotic being who desires nothing more than to have the universe be filled with robotics. He reminded me of the Borg from Star Trek. It offered something interesting for the episode and I liked it. The second thing I also liked about is that it focused more on the Fugitoid. We actually do get a little origin story on the Fugitoid and his origins are similar to as it was in not only the comics but also in the 2003 series. The Fugitoid was once Professor Honeycutt, who was trying to do experimentation with psychic powers when a lightning strike struck him, which has his mind fused with a robotic android. As a result, the human body died, and when the Triceratons found him, they considered him a fugitive, hence the term Fugitive Android, aka Fugitoid. And for the subplot, with the Fugitoid struggling to like regain his humanity, it was pretty good, and it actually showed that the Fugitoid was afraid. He was afraid of losing his humanity, and seeing him become like a host for the Overmind is just scary. The blue eyes didn't really help matters either. It really didn't. And I also do like the fact that the Fugitoid also served as a mentor archetype for everyone, including April, because in the 2012 series, April can not only defend herself, but she also possesses psychic powers. Yeah, she, had, she is part Krang, and I don't need to say anything enough. And I like how she's helping April be able to like hone her powers. It's pretty awesome, especially in the last part of the, the episode when April tried using her powers to free the Fugitoid. And she did succeed with a little bit of help. The action scenes were pretty good. I really love the action here, especially in the final part of the episode where the robot army took on the turtles. It was just action all around, including the fight between Leo and Armagan. Just really intense. It really is. There's some good character development, good action, you have the good subplot with the Overmind, not to mention the voice acting, and it's pretty awesome. I will say this right here, right now. This season is starting off very strong. We're four episodes in, like I said last week, and it is without a doubt one of the best. It's going to go great. Not to mention, the more they bring in more talent, it's going to make every episode all the more better. And I can't say it enough. So I'm going to rate this a 9. A 9 out of 10. It is a great episode. An awesome episode. And I really hope we get to see more. Although truthfully, we won't be seeing the last of our Magan. And I know he'll be back. Same can be said for Lord Drag. I really like how this series goes deep, off the deep end bringing in stuff that we never expect. So I want to know, what do you guys think of the episode? 
Please let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you enjoyed this video, and I keep saying it many, many times, please make sure you hit the like button. That thumbs up right there, click on it. It shows that you guys do enjoy what I do. I cannot stress this enough. And I enjoy doing these episode reviews a lot because it involves a show that I really want to get myself into. Not to mention I want to binge watch it. So that's it for this week's TMNT quick episode review. I hope you enjoyed it. And as I said, if you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It does mean a lot to me. And I hope to hear what you guys think in the comments section below. I'll be doing this again next week with the next episode. So see you then. Oh, and one other thing. Next week, there won't be a new TMNT next week. Rather, there'll be a special. And I will be providing my thoughts on the TMNT special Blast from the Past. I got this funny feeling when having some Turtles in Time vibes. Don't worry, I look forward to providing my thoughts on it when it comes out. Alright, that's it. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.